Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've done a lot of texture work on a model only to find yourself having to go back and modify the UVs for one reason or another? If you have, you know you're screwed, right? Not so in 3D Go. You have two powerful ways to get you out of that jam. One way works, as I'm going to demonstrate here in this video, on a model that has no topology changes whatsoever, you're just needing to modify the UVs, yet preserve all your texture information. The second method allows you the flexibility of taking all that hard work that you put into the textures and bake it onto a different version of that model. Perhaps you have a high resolution version and you want to bake all that to a low resolution version or whatnot. In that case, I'm going to show in the second video the texture baking tool and how that works. So let's go ahead and get started here. This is actually a very powerful and yet hidden gem. There's no buttons to push. You just go about your business, go ahead and modify your UVs, and we'll take a look at the results. Now, if I tried to do this in 3D Studio Max, I would be screwed. <laughs> so I have here one of the maps in the UV Texture Editor, which is much like having a Photoshop open in your viewport in 3D Coat. In the upper right hand corner, I can toggle between my maps. Now when I go and modify the UVs, the arrangement will be quite different. So for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate these two UV maps into one. Okay, so I'm going to go to the upper left hand corner, bottle, enter. And I'm just going to drag select all these. Now go to the second drop list here, move selected faces to bottle outer. Let's go ahead and navigate back to our outer bottle UV map and you can see now that they're sharing the 0 to 1 texture space. So let's uh, pack UV. Obviously I could do this manually if I wanted but I'll let 3D code do the work. Okay so as you can see it, the arrangement is quite different so now what I want to do is uh, yeah Hit apply UV set. So this is kind of like a final confirmation to tell 3D Coat that I indeed want to apply these changes. I'm going to hit apply UV set. It's giving me a warning. This operation cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to do this? And hit OK. Now it's not just applying the UV set, it's smartly identifying where the original position of the pixels are and where it has to relocate them. Shazam! How about them apples? 3D Coat intelligently did all the work that I would have to do myself trying to fix this. How cool is that? Alright, so in the next video we are going to examine the texture baking tool. Thank you for watching.